Okay, unit 7, first half of the test. Solve the systems of equations by graphing. So we have y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 3, and y equals 1 half x minus 3. Your job is to find the xy solution, and on graphing, it's where the lines cross. Okay, so on one side, I have y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 3. Then I have y equals one-third x minus 3. So we have the y by itself. That's apparent. So we have m and b. So slope y equals mx plus b. If it's in the right form, you got it. So negative 5 over 3. And plus 3 is the y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3. Then from there I go down 5, forward 3. Okay, then the other equation, the y is by itself, and we have our m and b set there. So slope, one-third, and the y int, negative three. Okay, I run into it. That's good. I ran into the solution. x-axis we're at 0, 1, 2, 3, positive 3. Then on the y, you're negative 1, negative 2. Okay? So 3, negative 2. Okay, number 2, y equals 3x minus 4. And then we have 2x, that is not a negative, plus 4y equals 12. It might have been one time, but I might have scribbled it out. We've got y equals 3x minus 4, and then 2x plus 4y equals 12. MB. So slope is 3, y int negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Remember it's 3 over 1, so you go up 3, forward 1. line. Now in the other equation we got, okay, finally we have y not by itself. So what's the y multiplied by? It's multiplied by 4. It's positive so you don't have to switch it. Now outside I have a 2x. That's got to go so we subtract 2x. So I have 4 dot y. 0 minus 2 is negative 2 and then plus 12. And I divide all of this by 4. Okay, negative 2 divided by 4 is a decimal, so I leave it negative 2 over 4. You could reduce it if you want. I don't, well, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So now you have your M and your B. Now if you want negative 2 over 4, if you want to reduce it to negative 1 half, it, it's fine. It doesn't really matter for what we're doing. Then plus 3. So 1, 2, 3. If you go down 1 over 2, down 2 over 4, it doesn't matter. Do the same. The line's going to be the same way. Down 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Two, one, two. See, if you went down 1 over 2, you'd be the same. It'd be the, pretty much the same thing. Okay. Down, down 1 over 2, you'd run into the point, but it doesn't really matter because we have it anyway. Okay. Dude, ratios do the same thing regardless. So you have 0, 1, 2. So we're at 2 on x. Now we're going up on the y. So 1, 2. So 2, 2. Okay, number three, we have 3y equals negative 6x plus 6. Be careful on that one. 4x plus 2y equals negative 4. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so y is not by itself. What's it multiplied by? It's multiplied by 3. Positive, you can check it. Is there anything outside of that? No, there's nothing being added or subtracted to it. So we don't have to, we can go right into dividing by 3. So negative 2x plus 2mb. So negative 2 over 1 and then positive 2. So 1, 2, and then I go down 2, forward 1. Okay, 4x plus 2y equals negative 4. So here's the equals. The y is not by itself. It's multiplied by a 2 positive. So put a check mark if it's negative, you'd switch it. Now this time we have a term outside that we need to take out by subtracting it. So minus 4x. I need an x over there, so I put a 0x. So we have 2 times y. 0 minus 4 is negative 4x plus a negative 4. Then you divide that all by 2, the whole equation by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2x, and then negative 2. So mb. So the slope is negative 2 over 1. And the y-intercept is negative 2. Oh, it's, the lines are going to be different. It's not IMS because you're starting here at negative 2. But you're still going down and forward, meaning the slopes are the same, meaning we have two parallel lines. So that's a no solution. IMS is when they're exactly the same line. Parallel lines results in an answer of no solution. Okay, now you're solving without the graph, solving by substitution. y equals x minus 7 and then 2x minus y equals 41. Okay, substitution means you have to find a base and you have one right there with your y. That's your base. Okay, now write the off base. You are going to want to apply a 1 in front of the y. Because y is the base and a parentheses goes to y and not putting the 1 there means I won't have a multiplier, which is not good. And that's going to be x minus 7. Okay, so 2x minus 1 parentheses. Now I insert the x minus 7 equals 41. Okay, that's a negative 1 that you're going to distribute, and you can put a 1 in front of the x plus negative on the 7. So I distribute the negative 1 to the 1x and the negative 7. That means I'm multiplying. So it's going to be negative 1x, and that's positive 7. And don't forget to add your 2x in the front. Okay, so I V those, it's going to be 1x plus 7 equals 41. I got a multiplier of 1. By the way, if your multiplier is 1, you can just take it off. You, I mean, you can just go forward with it. That's 34. Then divide by 1 is 34, so x is 34. There's no way I would have found that on a graph. I mean, how many graphs do I make that go to 34 on the x's? Not very many. Okay, now use your base to find the y because that's got the y by itself. So y, x is replaced with 34. It doesn't have to be multiplied because there's no multiplier in front. You can put a 1 there and multiply if you want, but it's still 34. So y equals 34 and either minus 7 or plus negative 7. Now y is by itself, so we just V those and combine the terms. That's 27. High answer.
Okay, number five, three x minus five y equals thirty, and then x equals negative two y minus one. Okay, you have a base. This time the base is x. That's okay. It doesn't have to be y. We're not graphing. Now write your off base three x plus negative five y equals thirty. Now, since the base is x, the parentheses goes to x. And x is replaced with negative 2y minus 1 plus negative 1. So we have a 3, and then negative 2y plus negative 1. Then don't just put equals 30 when this. A lot of people do that when they put the parentheses to x. No, after the parentheses, you have to add negative 5y. That doesn't just vanish equals 30. Now I'm going to solve for y. Here's the plus. So 3 to negative 2y, 3 to negative 1. So that's going to be negative 6y, and that's going to be negative 3. And then plus negative 5y. Now we combine our y's when they're on the same side like that, so it's going to be negative 11y plus the negative 3 constant equals 30. Okay, so we have times and plus, so you get rid of your negative 3 by adding 3, and that's 33. So y equals negative 3. To find x, we go x equals negative 2y minus 1. So you're going to substitute a negative 3 in for the y because that's your answer. Now we have to multiply negative 2 by negative 3. That's going to be 6. Okay. And then x equals 6 minus 1. If you want to make it plus negative, whatever, but it's still 5. Okay. 5, negative 3. Okay, solve by elimination. Elimination, there's not going to be a base. Okay, elimination is where you align it into columns. Okay. Now, either the x column or the y column has to add to 0. Well, that's 3, and that's 6. Well, but we do have a column that has the same term. If we just make one of them into a negative, they would add to 0. So negative, 2x would be negative, and so would the 4. So now I get 0y out of that. y is eliminated. 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1x, and then 11 plus negative 4 is 7. Now divide, and you're going to have your x, which is negative 7. x is negative 7. Pay attention to what the variable is. Okay, now to find y, you don't have a base. Just use the first equation, 1x plus 3y equals 11. Well, I just got my answer for x, so it would make sense to replace the x with negative 7. Now find that product really quick. That's negative 7. So you have negative 7 plus 3y equals 11. So the y is not by itself here, obviously. It's got operations on its side. So plus and times. So you have plus 7 to get 18. and y equals 6. Okay, number 7. 2x plus 4y equals negative 12. Negative 6x plus 5y equals 2. We're looking to apply the same method. That is not 0. That is not 0. And we don't have the same thing. So I guess we're multiplying. I'll multiply the top by negative 6 and the bottom by 2. Really, to be honest, you don't have to multiply. You have to multiply, but you could just as well multiply by 6. It doesn't really need to be multiplied by negative, but I'll do it just so you don't get freaked out. So negative 6 times 2x is negative 12x. Negative 6 times 4y is negative 24y. 
and then negative 6 times negative 12 is positive 72. Now on the bottom, negative 6x times 2 is negative 12x, 5y times 2 is 10y, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's try this again. Now that doesn't add to 0, that's negative 24 when you add. But if you made one of them positive, you'd get your 0. But then you've got to make the 10y opposite from positive to negative, and likewise with our 4. So that's 0x, x is eliminated. Negative 24 plus negative 10 is negative 34y. And then 72 plus negative 4 is 68. And divide by negative 34. And y equals negative 2. Now, get your x. So you got 2x plus 4y equals negative 12. Then y is negative 2. So that gives me negative 8. So 2x plus negative 8 equals negative 12. Now x has operations on that side, so I've got times and plus. So you have plus 8, plus 8, negative 12 plus 8 is negative 4. Then I divide by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. They can be the same. Okay, then I hate these next ones just as much as you do. Okay. Y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. I need to highlight the region with shading that represents the solution to the system of inequalities. Okay, so first I'm going to test out A. So Y is less than or equal to 2x minus 3. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. So inside the A, don't pick a point on the line. A is anything in here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4 up 1. Okay. Okay, so that point I selected randomly is 4, 1. Okay. Hope for the best. So I replace my variables. So 1 is y, 4 is x. So I have a 1 over here. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. That's a yes. Gosh, I hope this one is. Okay. So 1 and 4. Okay, this side you got 1, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, plus 2 is negative 6, yeehaw, yes, yes, so it's A. Now, A is in this region. Don't cross the lines when you highlight, okay? You're highlighting this A space, 